What's up YouTube? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. Uh, yeah, that'll be the point of that. Um, the good news is, the die has turned up from Tubella. Um, <laughs> angle degree indicator system installation. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead chuffed that this has turned up. Um, because without this, I ain't bending anything for the frame. That's the follower. Lovely stuff. Oh, come on. God, he's a big boy, isn't he? That's the clamp. And that's the die. God, bloody hell. Right. No, I am dead chuffed that this has turned up, because without it, we're properly stuck. Um, only trouble is, the steel ain't here yet. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. She said I might get it Wednesday, which is a good thing, because if it turns up, then I've got something to play with over Christmas, eh? That's massive. <laughs> Did they send the right one? Uh, does it say it on it? Anywhere. Well, the other ones did. Where's this one? It's not written on it. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll check it with the bike later on. <laughs> right, so, uh, this is probably gonna be my last one I, you know, for a little bit, because obviously we've got Christmas coming up. I can't do that, so I'm doing that instead. There's a couple of little clamps, um, which I'm gonna make. I was thinking about this the other night, and I just think this is gonna make things easier um, when I come to doing certain bits of the frame. I'll explain it all as we go, but in the meanwhile, I've been grubbing through the, the, the scrap bin and I've found lots of little offcuts of Alley, which I reckon will do the do with a little bit of luck. There's not a lot I can take off it, but I can take something. Right, let's um, get Brian on the case and have at it. Right, okay. Cool. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is just square all my stock up. Um, I will explain the stuff as we go. But for now, I just want to get stuff faced off, get the outside of it down to dimension, and then we can start cocking about. Right. Uh, where's my little bit of wire? I need that. Right, 
So, quite a bit later. I've now got two bits of alley, uh, 24 mil thick, 66 by 66.04 or 03 or something, I can't remember. Near as damn it, 66. <laughs> it's good enough one. The outside dimension doesn't even matter. But it is quite nice to get close. I also really like it when you've been machining, oh, which way do you go? That way. When you've been machining stuff, and you've got two bits sandwiched together and you're machining the top face or something like that. And when you go to pull them apart, because they're so flat with the thinnest of coating of oil on, you can't just pull them apart, you've got to twist them and then pull them. <laughs> I know it's a juvenile thing, but I do like it. Um, right, we don't need the collar in, because we are ready to put some features into this now. Um, it's all been fly cut. I have took all the burrs off and everything else, so we're good to go. So, if I get the drill in here, we can start putting holes in it. Um, I have set up my DRO. Um, I've found the center, um, and I've just zeroed absolute and incremental. So, we're all sound. That's fine. There we go. So, let's have you out. Put a drill chuck in. Start putting holes in it. Right, this is another silly little habit I've gotten into. <laughs> um, pom, pom, pom. Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. So, I've got to shove these holes in it. Um, that is going to be 10. That's going to be smack on centre. Down like that. So that's easy enough. So, from there to there is uh, going to be... Yeah, 45 centers. So from the center on going 22.5, um, 22.5, and these ones from center is gonna be 52. So what's that? Um, 26, 26. Um, and off there, to centre is going to be 23. It just helps it keep it square in my head. <laughs> right. Right, so we'll start out with the centre drill. I just want to locate these holes. Um, you'll do. Come on. Right. Right, that was really annoying. Went to drill them, and as the centre drill's going down, the top one wobbled. And it shouldn't do, because they were both machined at the same time. I pulled it out of the chuck, and there was a bloody chip next to the bottom one that I hadn't seen. So the bottom one was obviously clamping up a little bit, and the top one was just the tiniest little bit loose. So, you know, it is what it is. I'll just do them separately. It's not going to matter at all on this because this top one that I'm doing, that's just clearance anyway. So that's fine. Don't have a problem with it. Um, I wish I had a vice stop now so I could just put the other one in without having to, you know, locate everything again. But I don't. <laughs> so this I'll have to do. Right. Um, right. So he's, let's get him done. So that's that bit then. Um, I'll do it a quick clean and then you can have a look-see. <laughs> there you go. Um, so the two halves are clamped together. Where are you? Two halves are now clamped together. And if you look at it, I mean, there's, there is 
bugger all difference really on the split line. So I'm happy that this is basically all the size it needs to be. So now I just need to shove a big flaming hole straight through the middle. <laughs> I nearly said something else then. Right, in case you're wondering why it hasn't happened yet, I'll just cocked up. <laughs> um, basically, that I need to bore a hole through the middle of this, which is 38 mil in diameter, which is why I'm shoving the boring head in now. However, I need it to be able to clamp up as well. So I've got some of this, uh, where is it? Some of this stuff. It's um, basically plastic shim, half mil thick, which would be enough to clamp down on. So I've had to un you know, loosen off these bolts. You know, obviously take it out, loosen off the bolt, separate it, and I'll put a, a sheet of that down through the middle so it's got something to clamp onto whilst I'm boring the hole. That way when I take it out and shove a tube in there and then clamp it down, it'll actually be clamping down on the tube. Totally forgot about that bit. Totally forgot about that bit. Um, so I'm glad I spotted it now though, but it did, it's just been an awful lot of cocking about locating my centers and all that malarkey again. So I did all that off camera. <laughs> right then, let's um, get you back on zero. Um, where are we? the lion calipers was aiming for 38 and came up with 38.03 so that shirt oh, I'm calling it done that's finished right let's um let's put these away we'll take it out let me try it on a bit of tube and see if the bugger fits oh I hope so otherwise I've just wasted a date Mind your ears. <laughs> right, where's my deburry thing? It's quite good boring out something that's actually in two halves because you don't get that big stringy bit of nasty at the bottom because obviously it gets halfway around its revolution and then it, it breaks it off. So you just get lots of little chips, which is awesome. So much nicer. You ain't got to fish anything out the bottom of it when you're done. Well, I will do you for good measure. There we go. Got a lovely finish. Proper good finish inside. Right, let's, um, we'll have you apart. Take the shims out. Excuse me, I'll be back. I'm back. <laughs> it's any excuse, isn't it? All right. All right, so he's off. Here's my shims. Half mil packers. Um, shove that in there so I don't lose it. It's a nice finish though, eh? Look at that. Really nice. 
can do with a bit of a clean up. But, right, let's get some tube. Right. So this is the, the tube I'm going to be using to make the frame. Uh, essentially, it's the same stuff that's on there at the minute. So it's not seamless or drawn over mandarin, any of that malarkey. Come on. Um, oh. Right, there we go. Um, 38 mil, two mil wall thickness. Bloody bloody blah. Um, mm, mm, mm. All I want is a bit to try, in it. Look at that. Right then. Right, the chemise done. So just giving this a quick clean up, because obviously the two arms weren't pressed together when it was all clamped down and whatnot. Um, there's a gap, so obviously it just rolls the corder as the as the bit comes around. But that's not a bad finish, not by a long shot. And now let's see if he fits on and snugs down. Because he should. All things being equal and that. Alright, so that's one there. Awesome! That works a treat uh -huh. oh that's awesome brilliant right um they were reamed but they're going to need to be glued or i'll just make some new ones Right, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Job done, in my humble opinion. Um, but I chose to do this, because I was just waiting on the steel to turn up. Um, I suppose it turned up, what, an hour and a half ago? Something like that. So there wasn't really a great deal else I could do, but now I've got the steel, and I've got my die, and I've got my little doohickey jobby thing there. <laughs> And, uh, I'm not giving it a name. Um, then I can make a cheater. I can start cutting stuff off the frame and replacing it with some of this stuff. See if we can't make it look nice. Um, first thing is going to be to make a cheater. That don't take long at all. And then the angle grind is coming out because I need to make a little bit of space on there to put some new stuff in and figure other stuff out. And I'm going to need to cut quite a lot off. Well, you knew it was coming anyway, didn't you? Oh, Magoo, you've done it again. <laughs> I filled my voice up with chips. <laughs> Still. Um, so anyway, um, we've got everything we need to crack on with it. So that's the plan. However, a couple of curveballs for you. Um, Christmas Eve, that's my birthday. I'm 21 again. <laughs> I know I'm looking quite good for 21. Um, so we're going out for like a meal, a, you know, family meal and all that sort of stuff. I am going to drink plenty and I am going to feel a bit sorry for myself the following day. But then day after is obviously Christmas and then on Boxing Day, we have got everybody coming around. So, yeah, the next few days is kind of padded out. I'm sure you're in the same boat. You know, it's Christmas, isn't it? It's time for families and all that sort of stuff. So that's what's happening. I have got all the steel. I have got the I've got everything that I need to make a proper start on the frame. And that's what I'm going to be doing next. 
Um, couple of little bosses to make up for the swing arm bits, although I might do them later on. I don't know, it just depends what bit of the frame I'm gonna carve off first, I suppose. But we'll get to that. So anyway, um, we are currently 36 subscribers away from 9,000. <laughs> 9,000, um, which is awesome. It might happen before New Year, I don't know. It's just like creeping up really, really, really slowly. So if you know anybody that might be interested, share it about and stuff. I would love to hit that 9,000 marker. Um, but if we do, yeah, you know, I'm sure we will do it at some point. It would just be nice to do it this year. <laughs> we'll see um thank you ever so much for watching and for the support this year just watching us goof about on here and you know all that kind of stuff is is mega and especially the comments the comments are absolutely gold that engagement and bouncing ideas off and people chipping in oh have you thought of doing this and blah blah blah, blah. especially learning all this sort of stuff you know people chipping in and helping it's just been mega so um long may that bit continue because i'm loving that um but thank you ever so much for all your support patrons especially um we have got quite a few of them and you'll see your names pop up on every single video and that it's a massive 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 thank you i just i cannot tell you how much it is appreciated doing all this stuff actually does cost a bubble too so having people chipping in and, and basically supporting you really does help. Like, you wouldn't believe how much it helps. And everything that I get out of the channel, be it through you know the, the views, which is beer money, all the Patreons, then all of that is going to go straight back into stuff for the channel. So things like the die, stuff like the fly press, you know, tooling basically so i can make stuff in here for bikes and hopefully turn out some cool bikes so huge thank you to everyone that's chipped in really do appreciate it and from my clan to yours i wish you a very very merry christmas and a better new year than this one because covid put the kibosh on this one and Omnicrom is probably going to do the same for next year, but I'm hoping it's not. But all the best for the holidays. Um, do hope you're well and staying safe, and we will see you soon. Later!